chapter one of electrodynamics Griffiths. These are the most important things that you know. I have a link to this a full video going over all of the details. But the number one thing starts off with vectors. Uh, vector addition, scalar, scalar multiplication, dot product, cross product, magnitude, unit vector. Know those. Next. Uh, we have these derivatives of vectors. So we have the del operator in Cartesian coordinates. It's pretty simple, partial with respect to x, y, and z in the x, y, and z directions. Not true for spherical and the coordinates. So you do need to know that one too, but look it up. You don't need to memorize it. And then we have the gradient is a the del operator on a scalar function, and it gives you a vector. We have the divergence, the del operator on a vector function, and it gives you a scalar. And then the curl, uh, the del operator cross the vector function. Next, we have line integrals. So we have work as a line integral of f dot dl from a to b. Now, here's the thing that you can make a mistake on. dl in Cartesian coordinates is dx, dy, dz. Don't put negative signs on there. The direction comes from the limits of integration. And then the path uh, allows you to make connections between dx, dy, and dz. We have a surface area integral. You're not going to do anything complicated. You're going to do simple ones, but flux is one. E dot n hat. n hat is a unit vector perpendicular to the surface. And then you do the surface area integral. And then a volume integral is just over the volume. Now, the book uses d tau. Don't like that. And it uses e dot the vector dA. I like to associate n hat with the surface, not dA element. Next, we have the divergence theorem. This says that if you take the divergence of a vector function and integrate over the volume, you get a line, a surface area integral of f dot n hat. Uh, and then we have Stokes theorem, which says take the curl of a function and then take the flux over some surface area, and that's a line integral. Those come up all the time. Finally, we have, this one's really important, spherical coordinates. Not everything's here, but know how to derive or show things and translate between spherical and Cartesian coordinates. So we have the theta direction, the theta variable from the z axis projects down into the xy plane, and then we have the angle phi, and then the length of that thing is r. There you go. The full, the full video is linked down below, so if you want to watch that, see that.